If you need credible scholarly research for any psychology assignment, the Psych Articles database is a great choice. Everything in this database comes from peer-reviewed psychology journals. So you know you'll be aiming in the right direction if your topic falls into that subject area. You have some options when you start here. Mostly you want to double check that your full text box is checked to guarantee that you can access every article in this whole database. You can also set a date range. So if you need articles from the last five years or 10 years, you can tell it right up front so that all of your articles will meet your requirements. For the most part, you'll be searching in the database. And when you search, you'll just want to tell it exactly what you're looking for. So let's say we were searching for something about schizophrenia and treatments. We could type it out just like that and search it to see what happens. Like I thought, this found 1,600 articles. That was a very broad search. But as you're reviewing your sources here, you'll tell us what type of source it is. These are all going to be from academic journals. That's that peer-reviewed scholarly research. It's no surprise that everything we found falls into that category. As you're reviewing your sources, you're going to see first the article's title here, and that might tell us enough to get started with. And it's going to tell us some of our basic citation information right here. And even some of our subject terms might be helpful for developing more different kinds of searches. If you see an article that looks interesting to you, click the article's title. It's going to bring up this secondary page, which will break down all of your citation information. You'll have your article's title, your author's names, name of the publication, and that's where you'll also find the volume and the issue and the date and the page numbers. And you'll also see an abstract, which is a summary of the article, which gives you some information about what you're about to get into. You want to read that to make sure the article is going in the directions that your research is going in and that you think it'll help you develop your knowledge on this topic. Once you found an article that looks good, if you look to the left, you'll see these links that say either HTML full text or PDF full text. And if you click on one of those links, it should open up the full article for you to review. So once you've found an article that looks good, you have options on how to get it out of the database. You can always print from these articles. You can also email anything to yourself. Any email address works. Make sure that you have all of this stuff checked where you'll have the full text and you can even send your citation. You know, if you need an APA citation for this source, you can send all of that to yourself right here. Below that, a couple steps, you'll find this little gold document icon there. And if you click on that, that's also going to show you an example citation. I will caution you and say that these are not always correct. So always double check them against some kind of formal citation guide. What they do is they usually put things in the right order. So it's a good way to get familiar with that orientation of what a scholarly article citation should look like. And the other thing to worry about with a database like this is at the very bottom of that menu, you'll see a little chain link icon. That's for the article's permalink. Permalink will guarantee that your link will always get back to this source for anyone that has access to this database. Often I see people will copy the browser URL and that won't ever work again when you share it or add it to your citation because it's tied to your unique login. That should give you everything you need to know to interpret your results and access these articles from PsychArt.